YouTube, Gallagher123123, back with another video. One of the biggest things to come out for accessibility in the blindness space, I think, is Be My AI in the Be My Eyes app. This feature allows you to use GPT-4 to get very detailed image descriptions. I mean, these are really amazing descriptions. You can both in the app take pictures of something and get details about it or you can do what i'm going to demonstrate in this video and that is run existing images through be my ai to get descriptions i have found this to be so helpful over the past few months that i've had access to this and one of the things that has really impressed me with it is being able to use it to look back at vacation photo memories. So in this video, I'm going to share some of those with you. Of course, we'll look at the image and then I'll have Be My AI describe it and I'll add some of my own context if I feel it's needed. And it might not be needed. This thing is really incredible. And yes, it can make mistakes. So that's something to be aware of. It's not perfect, but what it's doing, it's doing it very well. So, all right, let's get into this. I'll go ahead and unlock my iPhone 15 Pro Max. And we're already sitting in the Photos app on a vacation photo that was taken back in 2019. And I remember thinking this was very cute at the time that I took it. So let's get Be My AI to describe this. Now, how do we do that? Well, we're going to want to use the share button at the bottom of the screen. Toolbar, info, favored, switch button, off share button. There is share. I'll double tap. One photo selected. And photo selected. at the bottom of this share sheet. Copy photo. Add, add, air, use as wallpaper. Cop, pick, create, assign to cop, print, add to new, save to, recognize, save to say, envision it, save to drop, search with, whoop, describe with, be my eyes. Button. We have describe with, be my eyes. I'll double tap this and let's see what be my eyes has to say or be my AI has to say about this image. Describe, cancel, cancel, button. Please okay. wait, be my AI is writing a message. Tells us it is writing a message. Please wait, be my AI is writing a message. Okay. Be my AI, the picture shows a decorative sign hanging on a wooden wall. The sign is shaped like a whale and is painted in a teal color. The word welcome is written on it in white cursive letters, which is a playful combination of the word whale and welcome. The sign is hanging from a rope that is attached to the top of the whale's shape. To the right of the sign, there is a glimpse of a white cloth with blue patterns and some small decorative items. The wooden wall in the background has a warm, natural brown color. There we go. And that, I believe, is a perfect description. Copy. Now, your message, image, copy, uh, cancel, 55%. I'm just going to slow that speech down just a little bit, and I'll play this description again. Be my AI. The picture shows a decorative sign hanging on a wooden wall. The sign is shaped like a whale and is painted in a teal color. The word welcome is written on it in white cursive letters, which is a playful combination of the words whale and welcome. The sign is hanging from a rope that is attached to the top of the whale's shape. To the right of the sign, there is a glimpse of a white cloth with blue patterns and some small decorative items. The wooden wall in the background has a warm, natural brown color. That really brings me back to when this was taken. And this was taken at, I believe it was a seafood restaurant in Kennebunkport, Maine in June 2019. My grandmother, who I was traveling with at the time, pointed this sign out, and when she was like, you've got to get a picture of it. So I did. And hearing that description really reminds me of it. Let's look at some others. Your cancel, cancel button. Now we could also ask more, but in this case, I have what I want to know. So let's cancel. Now, best of vacations, back button. I'm going to select another photo and I'll be back once I've picked something. Okay, let's try this one. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'll share it. Tool, detect, favored, share, button. And photo, select mail, button. Copy, fo add, app, air, you cop, a, cr a print, apps, save, and save, search with, describe with, be my eyes, button, cancel. And let's get the description. Button. Please wait, be, now, please wait. Be I'm not eyes. editing this. Message. I want you to get a sense of how long this takes, but it's pretty quick, as you will see. Be my AI is still writing a message. Be my AI is still writing a message. Be my AI. The picture shows two vintage streetcars on a set of tracks. 
The streetcar in the foreground is orange with a number 5821 on it and has an open door. It is labeled Boston Elevated Railway. The streetcar in the background is green with the number 38 on it and is labeled Rapid Transit Line. It has a sign that reads Boston, Sullivan Square via North Station. There is a wooden hole on the left and overhead wires above the streetcars. The tracks are surrounded by gravel and there is some green grass in the foreground. The streetcars are parked in front of a large building that appears to be a depot or garage for the streetcars. What a description. I actually don't think I did this one previously. And that really, wow, the details it pulled out there. This was taken at the Seashore Trolley Museum in Kennebunkport, Maine. And such an incredible place that is filled with history. You know, there's trolleys everywhere. And getting that description and hearing that what I have in the photo is the Boston Elevated Railway. I mean, that's really cool. So let's just see if we could get more details. Let's see. What could I ask? There's a box here. So if I flick right. Message. Text field. We could type a message. Insertion point at end. And let's see. Let's see if it knows, since this is GPT, can you tell me more about the history of these cars, question mark? Inserted, can you tell me more about the history of these cars? Okay, so we have that. Let's swipe right. Clear text, send message, button. And? Send, please wait, be my AI, please wait, be my AI is writing a message. Okay, and it's writing. We'll see what we get. Be my AI is still writing a message. Be my AI, certainly. The streetcars in the picture are from the early 20th century. The orange streetcar labeled Boston Elevated Railway likely belonged to the Boston Elevated Railway Company, which was a public transit company that operated in Boston, Massachusetts from 1894 to 1947. The company was known for operating streetcars and later buses and rapid transit trains. The green streetcar labeled Rapid Transit Line with the destination sign Boston, Sullivan Square via North Station is also likely from the same era. Sullivan Square and North Station are both transportation hubs in Boston, so the streetcar probably served as a connector between these two points. Streetcars were a popular mode of transportation in the early 20th century in many American cities, including Boston. They were eventually replaced by buses and subways as the primary means of public transportation. However, some cities have preserved vintage streetcars like the ones in the picture as historical artifacts or for use in heritage streetcar lines. Wow, okay. Message, clear text, message, text field. I'll just Insertion say, point at end. Dictate. I believe this photo was taken at the Seashore Trolley Museum, period. Attachment. Inserted. I believe this photo was taken at the Seashore Trolley Museum. Dictate. Be my AI. Send clear text. Button. Okay. Send message. Button. Send please wait. Be my AI. Please wait. Be my AI is writing a message. Let's see what it says to that. And then we'll go back to the pictures and try a couple more. Be my AI is still... Be my AI, yes, that makes sense. The Seashore Trolley Museum, located in Kennebunkport, Maine, is the oldest and largest electric railway museum in the world. It was founded in 1939 and is known for its incredible collection of streetcars, trolleys, and other electric railway vehicles from various time periods and locations. The museum aims to preserve the history of electric railway transportation and educate the public about its significance. The streetcars in the picture you provided are likely part of the museum's collection, and visitors can often take rides on some of the restored streetcars on a portion of the museum's railway. It's a wonderful place for history and transportation enthusiasts. That sounds pretty spot on to me. I mean, and it's true about being able to take rides. One of my favorite places to visit. And I feel Be My AI really and ChatGPT did it justice. So that's that image. Cancel, cancel button. Now we can select cancel to get back to Best of vacations. Back button. our photos and for those of you who can see, that's the photo we just ran through this. Yeah, I think that was a perfect description. Okay, we'll try one more from our trip to Kennebunkport in 2019. To detect favored, share button. One photo selected, copy photo. Add app air, you cup it, crisp, crisp, add, sit, rest, sit, and sit, sit, describe with, be my eyes, button. Cancel. And let's see what this one is. Please wait, please wait, be my eyes, writing a message. But as you can see, these de these descriptions are so detailed and can really bring back be my memories. Be my AI. The picture is of the interior of the church. The church has a modern design with a curved ceiling that appears to be made of concrete. There are tall, narrow stained glass windows on the right side of the image, which are very colorful with various designs, including what appears to be religious figures. 
The church has long, dark wooden benches lined up in rows for seating. The floor is made of a light-colored material, possibly stone or tile. There is a small podium at the front, and a few other pieces of furniture, including chairs. The atmosphere seems to be quiet and serene. Okay, it's pretty good, I think. That was taken at a monastery, Catholic monastery. Your message, cancel. Okay. Button. Best of vacations, back button. Let's find some more to look at. Okay, let's try this. Describe with be my eyes, button, cancel, button. Please wait, please wait, be my eyes writing a message. Be my AI still writing a message. Be my AI. The picture shows a cityscape taken from a high vantage point, possibly a window of a tall building. The city appears to be dense with a mix of architectural styles. There are several high rise buildings, with one prominent building that has a unique design, resembling a grid. There are also many mid rise buildings with classic architecture, featuring ornate details and facades in various colors, such as white, beige, and teal. The street below is lined with palm trees and has cars and pedestrians. The sky is partly cloudy. On the right side of the picture, there is a building with the word Wyndham at the top, suggesting it might be a hotel. Interesting. Okay. Now, I don't know if we'll be able to tell me this, Message. But... Text field. Insertion point at end. Dictate. Could this be New Orleans? Question mark. Insert it. Could this be New Orleans? Dictate. Be my AI. Send message. Button. Send. Please wait. Be my AI. Please wait. Be my AI. Is writing a message. Be my AI, yes, this could very well be New Orleans. The mix of architectural styles, including the classic buildings, and the palm trees lining the street are indicative of New Orleans. Additionally, Wyndham is a hotel chain that has several locations in New Orleans. The density of the buildings and the layout of the streets also resemble the urban structure of New Orleans. Okay, so I guess that's what this is. Actually, it is. This, I believe, is the view from our hotel room that we had cancel, cancel, when visited New Orleans Best of vacations, back button. in July 2022. Here's a photo of me. Let's see how Tool it does. Art. Please wait, please wait. Be my AI is writing a message. Be my AI is still writing. Be my AI. The picture features a man standing near a railing by a body of water. The man is wearing a long sleeve shirt with a light blue color and a pattern that resembles water ripples. He also has on a necklace with red and silver beads. He is wearing dark blue shorts and has a watch on his left wrist. The man has short brown hair and a slightly surprised expression on his face. In the background, there is a serene view of a lake or river with lights reflecting on the water. There are trees on the other side of the water and some lights that could be from buildings or street lights. The sky is dark, suggesting it is nighttime or early evening. The railing he is standing next to is white with black ornamental patterns. Your message cancel. I think that's a very good... Best of vacations. Back a button. very good description of this. This was taken on a riverboat in New Orleans. Okay. Tool fave share button. Try this Tool one. Photo selected Ulysses. App group what base cap zip more button. Copy app 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 you cop it creep a print app sit right say and say search with describe with be my eyes cancel button. Please wait please wait be my AI is writing a message. Reliving vacation photos with be my AI. This is really beautiful. Be my AI. The picture shows a beautiful night scene where people are watching fireworks over a body of water. There are three people in the foreground, standing on what appears to be a boat or a dock. They are leaning against a railing that has ornate details. One of the people is capturing the moment on their phone. The fireworks are green and are reflecting on the water. In the background, there is a city skyline with buildings that have lights on. The sky is dark, but the fireworks and city lights illuminate the scene. That is such a beautiful description. Your mess cancel button. This was taken again in New Orleans. Of vacations. Here's another favorite. Tool fave share button. One photo selected. Copy photo. Add app air you cop it creep assign print at save to and save search describe with be my eyes button. Cancel button. Let's see please what this wait. is. Be my eyes right please wait. Be my eyes writing a message. Be my eyes still writing a message. Let's see, I'm excited. Be my AI. The picture shows a large cruise ship named Voyager of the Seas docked at a port. The ship is painted in white and blue, with the name of its own port Nassau written in large letters on the stern. The ship has multiple decks with rows of windows and balconies. The top of the ship features a green and yellow water slide and what appears to be a glass bottom observation area. The sky is overcast with gray clouds. In the foreground, there is a docking area with a metal gangway, a yellow pole, and a flower bed with colorful flowers. There is also a blue building adjacent to the ship, and a few people are visible in the docking area. The water is visible in the background. 
Wow. Your message, cancel button. Let's see if it can tell us more about the ship. Message, text field. Insertion point set, dictate. Can you tell me more about the ship, question mark? Inserted, can you tell me more about the ship? To send message, button. Send, please wait, be my AI, please wait, be my AI is writing the message. Be my AI. Be my AI, certainly. The Voyager of the Seas is a cruise ship that is part of the Royal Caribbean International Fleet. It is one of the Voyager class ships, which are known for their large size and variety of amenities. The ship was built in 1999 and has undergone several refurbishments since then. It has a capacity of over 3,000 passengers and features a wide range of amenities including swimming pools, a rock climbing wall, an ice skating rink, a mini golf course, and several dining options. The ship is registered in Nassau, Bahamas, and operates in various regions including the Caribbean, Asia, and Australia. There we go. Spot on. Okay. Okay, let's try this one. To favorite share button. Ulysses, muck, canvas, do copy, fuck, at, at, air, you, cop, it, creep, a, prick, add, sit, rec, sit, and saves, search with, describe with, be my eyes, button, cancel, button, please wait, be my, please wait, be my eyes, writing the message. Be my eyes, still writing the message. All right. Be my AI, the picture shows a luxurious indoor swimming pool area on a cruise ship. The pool is surrounded by a wooden deck with a light brown color. There are two levels visible in the picture. The lower level has the pool, which is rectangular and has turquoise water. There are two people in the pool. One is swimming while the other is standing at the edge. There is a person in a red jacket standing next to the pool. The deck has several light blue lounge chairs and a few large white plant pots with green plants. There are also some stairs leading to a raised deck. The upper level has a railing and looks like a balcony overlooking the pool. The railing is white with a wooden top. Behind the railing, there are large windows and a few more lounge chairs. The ceiling is high and has a glass roof which lets natural light in. In the background, through the windows, you can see a cityscape with buildings and a church spire. The sky is overcast. The overall atmosphere of the place seems calm and relaxing. Perfect. Your message cancel button. As that was again That's taken on the Voyager of the Seas of the pool area. Seems to be pretty good. Toolbar, photo shoes. Except it photo is an outdoor pool, though. I think. Adjustable. Photo 100, photo 1, photo 1, photo 106, photo 107, photo 106 of 241. Tool favorite share button. You copy photo at at air. You copy icon create a at sit run, sit and say search with describe with be my eyes button cancel button. Please wait. Be my eyes writing a message. Be my AI is still writing a message. Be my AI. The picture shows the interior of a luxurious dining hall, possibly on a cruise ship. The hall is spacious with high ceilings and two levels. The lower level has numerous dining tables arranged neatly, each covered with a white tablecloth and set with silverware and glasses. The chairs are white and plush. There are a few people scattered around, some sitting and some standing. The upper level has a balcony that overlooks the dining area and is adorned with elegant railings. There are large, ornate columns that stretch from the floor to the ceiling, and the ceiling has intricate chandeliers hanging from it. The flooring has a rich, patterned carpet in shades of blue and red. At the far end of the room, there is a large painting hanging on the wall, framed by two staircases that lead to the upper level. The atmosphere seems calm and sophisticated. All right. Your map cancel button. I think they've even improved these since I've tried the these vacations. last. Back button. See, I'm trying to zoom in on my screen here to see this. It seems pretty good. Definitely what I'm remembering, the tablecloths and the chairs and beautiful, elegant dining room. Okay, we'll try one or two more from this set. Ooh, let's try this. Tool fave, share, button, one photo, select, copy photo, app, 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 you copy, creep, a script, add, save, rec, save, and vision, saves it, search with, describe with, be my eyes, cancel, button, please wait, please wait, be my eyes, writing a message. Hmm. This one's gonna make me hungry. Be my AI. I think. Be my AI. The picture shows a close-up of a dining table set with a dish in the center. The dish appears to be a small, round, ceramic bowl with handles, filled with a creamy, cheesy meal, possibly a French onion soup or gratin. The cheese is melted and golden brown around the edges. The bowl is placed on a white plate. On the table around the plate, there are silverware, a fork to the left and a knife to the right. In the background, there are more silverware, a glass, and what appears to be a metal serving dish. 
The tablecloth is white, and the overall setting looks elegant. Okay, so I noticed this time it actually struggled a little bit with the French onion soup, which is what it is in the past. It was able to kind of get, it did mention it, you know, in the description, but it took it, you know, a little bit. Your met cancel button. It didn't seem as sure about it, I guess, is that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, this is actually a bit more of a close-up of the French onion soup. I want to see what we get, if we get a different description for this one. To save share button. Describe with be my eyes. But cancel button. Please. Please wait. Be my eyes writing a message. Be my eyes still right. Be my AI. The picture shows a table setting with a dish in the center. The dish appears to be a bowl of French onion soup with melted cheese on top. The bowl is brown and is placed on a white plate. The cheese is melted to the point where it's overflowing a bit on the side of the bowl. On the table around the plate, there are utensils including a fork and a knife on the right side, and a spoon on the left. There are also two small stainless steel pots with lids, possibly four condiments, and a folded white napkin standing behind the pots. The tablecloth is white, and everything is arranged neatly. Okay, I think that's a bit better, actually. Your message cancel button. So there we go. Best of vacations, back button. Okay, here's one I haven't tried. Describe with my eyes button. Cancel button. Please w Please wait. Be my AI is writing a message. Be my AI is still writing a message. Be my AI. The picture shows a display of vintage telephones. The background has a blue wallpaper with intricate white designs. There are three telephones displayed, each with a year mentioned below them. On the left, there is a wooden wall-mounted telephone from 1880. It has a wooden box with a small circular opening in the middle, possibly for speaking into. Above the box, there are two bells with a crank handle on the side. Below the box, there is a small wooden shelf. On the right, there is a telephone from 1910 placed on a table covered with a red cloth. This telephone has a cylindrical base with a vertical pole and a black, horn-shaped mouthpiece attached to the top. There is a white placard in front of it with some text, but it's not clear what it says. In the middle, slightly in the background, there is another wooden wall-mounted telephone from 1900. It looks similar to the one from 1880 but has a more rectangular shape and a single bell on top. The display seems to be behind a glass, possibly at a museum or exhibition. What a description. Wow. Your message, image, cancel, button. So just to show the picture again. Best of vacations. This was button. taken at the Alexander Graham Bell uh, historic site in Nova Scotia. Describe with be my eyes. But cancel. Try but this beautiful picture. Please wait. Be my eyes writing a message. Be, be my AI. The picture you've shared is a beautiful view of the ocean at sunset. The bottom half of the image shows the ocean with waves creating a textured pattern. The water is in shades of dark blue and gray. The top half of the image captures the sky during sunset. The sun is just at the horizon, casting a vibrant orange and red glow across the sky. The colors gradually fade into a lighter shade as they reach the top. The image seems to be taken through a window as there are some subtle specks and streaks on the surface. It's a serene and calming scene. All right. Your cancel button. Best of vacations, back button. This one is going to be a bit tougher. Let's see what it can do. Describe with be my eyes. Cancel button. Okay. Please wait. Please wait. Be my AI is writing a message. All right. Let this write its message. Be my AI is still writing a message. Be my AI. The picture shows an elegant elevator area, possibly in a hotel or cruise ship. The elevator has a cylindrical shape with glass walls and wooden panels. Above the elevator, there is a digital panel displaying floor numbers from 1 to 17. Inside the elevator, there is a man wearing a light blue shirt, standing with his back to the camera, seemingly pressing a button. The area surrounding the elevator is luxurious, with a curved wooden railing in the foreground. The floor has a beautiful blue and white patterned carpet. To the right of the elevator, there is a decorative wall with horizontal metallic bands. Below the elevator, you can see a reflection of the carpet pattern on a shiny surface, possibly a polished metal or glass. There are also two decorative metal structures hanging on the right side, which look like small spiral staircases. The overall ambiance of the space is opulent and modern. Okay, well, there's that description. Cancel, now, 17, I'm not sure where I got that number from, one. but everything else seems spot on. This is actually a photo that my grandmother captured of me in the elevator on board. So that's pretty cool. Not the best photo, but 
I thought I would try it. All right, we'll conclude this video with something kind of fun. This one was taken of me quite a bit further back, back in 2016. To fave share button. Let's see how Be My AI does with this. One photo selected. Copy at at air. You cop ex creep a sock pr at sit rec sit and save to search with Google Lens. But describe with Be My Eyes. Cancel button. Please wait. Please wait. Be My Eyes writing a message. Be My Eyes still writing a message. Okay. Be My AI. The picture shows a young boy standing in front of a giant replica of a boot. The boy is wearing a green t-shirt with the word Celtics on it, black shorts, and black shoes. He is holding a white cane with a red tip, which is used by visually impaired individuals for navigation. The giant boot is tan with dark brown at the bottom and has laces. It is placed in front of a building with a sign that reads L. L. Being incorporated in large letters. The building has a beige exterior with green text. There is also a small sign next to the boot that reads 90th anniversary. The ground is covered in small pebbles and there are some plants and flowers around the area. The sky is clear and it seems to be a sunny day. Perfect. Your message cancel button. Free port that was taken back by outside of the big flagship LL Bean store in Freeport, Maine in August 2016. So, so I hope that was enjoyable. I really wanted to show how Be My AI could allow you to revisit some favorite memories. I mean, hearing those vivid descriptions. I know when I first tried this in August, when I first got access, I was just in awe sitting here going through these vacation photos and having Be My AI describe them to me. And to me, it's really incredible. And of course, Be My AI has so many other uses outside of that. You find an image on the web that's not very clear, well, Be My AI can fix it for you, you know, give you a description, find some memes, it can do that too. Now, it's not perfect, it can give some incorrect information, but everything I've tried really has worked well. And I think when you think about it, the amount of access that this gives to images now, it's a pretty big deal. And it, you know, we do live in a world where a lot of people enjoy posting pictures and having Be My AI ready to go means that we can also enjoy these pictures. And it also means we can provide alt text for our own photos when we upload them. I mean, I think it's better for the alt text to be a bit shorter, but you can easily ask Be My AI to do that for you as well. So that is a look at Be My AI and using it for one of my favorite tasks of all time, going through my vacation photos to relive some incredible memories. I hope you found this helpful, and if there's more that you'd like to see with Be My AI, definitely let me know and I will do my best to make it happen. Now at present, Be My AI is in an open beta, so I guess if you have the app, you should be able to access it. But it's iOS only right now. Android is in process. But for now, it is iOS. So I hope you found this video helpful. I have a lot of other exciting videos planned, so stay tuned. You won't want to miss them. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give the video a like. Subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified about upcoming videos. Follow me on Twitter at Gallagher123123. You can also find me on Mastodon at Gallagher123123 at dragonscave.space. Thank you again for watching. We will see you in an upcoming video.